Hello, today I'm gonna guide you through manual firmware update on any Dahua network camera. And it literally won't take you more than five minutes. You're on the People Systems channel. My name is Daniel. We we'll begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. There is three ways to update a firmware for a Dahua camera. Uh, and that's via camera's web interface, via Dahua's config, tool and via smart PSS software. There is also a flash drive option, but we won't do that. Instead, firstly, we will go through the most common and universal option, assuming no any software downloads, the web interface. Note that the following part is identical for all three options that we review today. And so to locate device name and download the firmware file itself. And further in the video, I will be referring to this Part. And first of all, locate your camera's mocking, which is IPC-HFW2230SP-S-S2 for me. And I'm surprised I pronounced it correctly. You can find it on a camera's box, here is mine, and the informational plate somewhere on the camera's body, here is mine. And you can also locate your camera's mocking in a software way via Dahoa's config tool. There is it, that's my camera. And via Dahoa's smart PSS software. And here again, this is my camera, if you have access to either of these tools. And then we go to Dahua's website, where we locate such a search button. Or you can also scroll down to find a download center link, but there's actually no need for it this time. So we are getting back to the search button. So we type in our camera's mocking, in my case I'm just pasting it. There we go. And search. And note that it may be a different website layout for your country, but the idea is the same search button and then our list with search results will appear and here's the cam i was actually looking for so i'm pressing it and i'm redirected to a product card and i scroll down to find the download button locating a firmware there is it for and now i can download a firmware file by pressing this exact button now i'm gonna agree with license let me go for that select my country there we go and type in my email address i.people.systems and you can also write your queries right to this email and press and submit now the download begun and once it's downloaded we're gonna open the folder and unzip the archive and locate our female file so we're waiting there we go and once the file is Download it. I'm going to open the folder, show the folder, and here we go. I've got the archive. I want to go to it and unzip all of these files. I'm going to sit for LA and unzip them. There you go. Into the downloads. And here we go. So there's a lot of files within the archive, but I need only a single one. And here is it. The one taking 25, uh, yeah, almost 25 megabytes. Uh, this bin type file and it may be other data in archive for you but you need to locate a similar file like this one and then for the purpose of updating cameras firmware we are going to cameras web interface via browser and i'm using new chromium based microsoft edge and it works well with it so i assume other camera browsers won't conflict with Dahua's web interface either and now uh, you can, and uh, by the way, you can locate your camera's IP address in a Dahua Smart PSS software. There's my camera, and there is it, IP slash domain name, its IP address. And also in Dahua's config tool, which you can search all devices located within your network, and there is it, my camera, and the IP address. Now you copy it, and there you go here, and you simply paste it, and you go to your camera's web interface. The username by default is admin and the password the one that you have created when you were activating the camera. And type in it and get an in the camera's web interface. And there you can see it. Hello there. Great. And now on the page, yeah, logging in and right away we are going to a setting step. Here we need a system item and the final upgrade item. And here in the file upgrade field, we will select a theme web file. So we press browse and locating that exact bin file waiting 25, almost 24.938 megabytes. 
bin, bin type in the file and OK, we're opening it. And now the most crucial step, pressing upgrade and now the progress bar appears and after your camera will reboot and appear with online status, meaning upgrade is completed and you can continue using your camera but running a new firmware. Option number two allows us to update camera's firmware with a software named Config Tool that is completely free and can be downloaded from a Dialys website. The link is in the description. And from a previous part, we have got our camera's name and we have also downloaded an archive with firmware file. So we we'll skip it here and go to the firmware update process itself. And first of all, get that config tool from a link in the description and then install it like a common program. And once you are there in the program, you will see all your devices list. I've got three. But now we need to go to the firmware tab, which is the item number six in the left column. Here we locate our camera, which is the middle one for me, there is it. I check the box left to it. And now we press browse, locating that firmware file, that bin file, taking waiting uh, 25 megabytes, pressing open. And the most crucial part, we press the upgrade. Now the progress bar appears and once it is completed, your camera will reboot and appear with online status again, meaning the upgrade is completed and you can continue using your camera running a new firmware. Option number three requires us to download a free DAWA Smart PSS software that looks like this. The link is in the description. Again, from the first part of the video, we have got our camera's name and we've also downloaded an archive with a firmware file. So we skip it again and go to the firmware update process itself. So once you are in the Smart PSS software, you go to the devices tab and locate your camera. I got the only one right here and you can see it is online. I check the box left to it and press this cog icon. From here, what the only thing I need to do is press this blue upgrade button on top. Now I am locating a device firmware that I've got in the downloads and here I'm locating the DHIPC bin type file taking 25 megabytes. Now I open and there we go, pressing a firmware update and start upgrading, it kind of happens and that's, that's mostly it. After that the camera will reboot and again appear with online status, meaning the upgrade is completed and you can continue using your camera with a new software. If you purchase the camera from us, we can help you update your firmware. Well, just contact our technical support on the People System Store website. And we can also help you select your perfect security camera, your perfect security camera system and other stuff. Follow the link in the description and specify you are the People subscriber to get a better offer. And also need help, your questions and descriptions of your tasks, they are always welcome in the comment section below the video. And not a single one will go unanswered. Thank you for watching.